Hello, my internet companions. Uh, long time no talk. As you can imagine, we've been busy with all kind of wild things. We got a uh, pal here in the shop today. Finally got it up to temperature. And uh, so kind of an interesting story here. Uh, while I was sitting at the kitchen, shh, you're fine. Any words. So I was sitting at the kitchen table, you know, doodly doing on my keyboard, uh, looking at the old inter internet and uh, my wife dropped this box off in front of me. Uh, these are some whips and uh, made by Nylite. And uh, we, we're not sponsored by them or anything, but, and I'm like, uh, I don't wanna put whips on the Armax. I don't really, I don't really care for them. And she said, they're not for the Armax. And I said, well, what, where are you gonna put them? And she's like, I, I have my own machine now. So uh, yeah, the, she bought this. It's a 2021 KRX 1000 Trail Edition. And yeah, so um, we're gonna install some whips on this big piece. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice machine. I'm gonna do a video about it later, uh, talk all about it and um, you know why we went with that as opposed to something else. Got a pretty killer deal on it. Uh, it's got 1,700 miles on it. It's in fairly good shape. A lot of nice aftermarket stuff, which is cool. So new content for the channel with this KRX. I figured something different. And uh, yeah, so let's install these whips. Oh boy, lots packed in this box. Sheesh, what we got here? Oh man, mommy's gonna love this. Eagles? America. Oh, we got the old Freedom Flyer here too. So the thing that I liked about these is they have like a quick disconnect sort of deal. Yeah, right here. So these will go right here. Oh, lucky day. All right, cool. Yeah, so that's not too bad. I mean, when you disconnect them, you just see that. So that's not too horrific. I'm not going to bore you with mounting them. Okay, Pepe. Maybe. All right, so here is what I'm going to do. Kawasaki provides you with a factory location for the whips here. And the guy that owned this before us was like, he had all kind of junk wired into this. So I'm just going to plug these actually. And I'm going to run. So we got them temporarily hooked up. Uh, pal, you want to get the remote and show them some of the crazy colors? It's over there. I'll put it over on the bench. Um... So we'll turn it on here and then turn on the whips. We just have them temporarily run here. They're actually really nice. The quality is good. They do have a little bit of give to them. Um, I, if you smack branches with these things, they're definitely going to break. But uh, we'll do a night shot tonight just to see how bright these things get. But So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some, some of that Harbor Freight plastic wire loom around these. And then I'm gonna tuck that inside the channel for the this airbox vent or CVT vent. I'm, I forget which one's which, but and I'm gonna tuck that down here, and then I'm gonna run the wiring through the cage here. And then you have that this little box here. Well, let me go on the other side. I'll show you what kind of what's going on. Obviously, your machine might be a little bit different. The guy before ran all this stuff, um, but so there's this extra whip light. So it looks like this not only controls this wire that he ran, you can see I have it just temporarily set up this into box. this little box here. It looks so cool. Yeah, that is cool. Um, but yeah, so that I'm gonna hide this box somewhere probably behind the seats and then hide this wire and stuff. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. It makes the most sense. Okay, well, what... Uh, Seems like took an eternity. I'll show you what I did. Everything's mounted. And you know, these you unscrew, they uh, disconnect, then you put these little caps on. So like, if you're gonna uh, trailer this thing, I would probably take those off. Or if you're in tight woods that might smack them, then I would, you could take these off. And yeah, there you go, pal, fire them up. Let me turn off some lights here. Okay. Those are definitely bright. Pal here is going to go through the uh, 
different modes. There's like, 300. yeah, 300 patterns. So I'm not going to bore you with all of them. You can hear the fuel pump on this thing running apparently. But yeah, it turned out pretty good. And we wired our, um, our rear lights on. So that turned out pretty good. So got nice rear lights. And obviously this thing's got a light bar. So that looks good. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. I, I used quick disconnects for everything. So any cable connection has a weatherproof connector. Yeah, I'll show you that. Let me get, uh, turn the lights back on here, jeez. I bought some of these Nylite uh, weatherproof connectors and I forget how many are in here. I think like at least 10 pairs. But you can see they got the little rubber guy there, and um, supposed. I mean, that looks like a pretty good seal to me. But yeah, wherever um, I had to put wire together, I just used these. So definitely recommend getting them. Yeah, that kind of wraps up this video about these uh, Nylite whips, and I'll put all the information below on what stuff I used. They're all Amazon links, so if you use them, I make like three cents. I appreciate that. I'd have to sell like four million uh, sets of these whips to make like 20 bucks, but you know, every little bit helps. So yeah, next video, I'll talk about um, the purchase of this machine and kind of what I looked for. You know, when you're buying one of these things used, there's a lot to consider. Uh, there's actually quite a few deals out there right now. This is uh, I'm making this video towards the end of January here uh, 2024. I feel like it's starting to turn into a buyer's market. Everybody um, ran out of COVID money. So now it's uh, it's easier to, to get stuff. So but yeah, I think this would be a pretty good machine for my son and, and wife. It's um, basically, you know, done. We don't have to really worry about too much now. So appreciate you watching. And if you have any questions, just leave, uh, leave your questions below. I'll get to them when I can. And uh, definitely, you know, if you're interested in this kind of content, make sure you, you subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And I'll definitely be posting more stuff. I'm really looking forward to comparing this thing against the R Max. And I know they're two very different machines. This thing is quite sportier. Uh, than the R Max, but I still think it'd be interesting. So stay tuned for that one. Oh, look who it is. A little friendly doggy.